According to the Center for Disease Control, over half of female homicides in the United States are the result of intimate partner violence, and 90% of those women are killed by their current or former partner. And that's exactly what happened to 20-year-old Alina Shaikat. A University of Pittsburgh student, Alina Shaikat had just transferred from Pitt Greensburg to start her fall semester at Pitt's main campus in the heart of Oakland. And like many transfers, Alina was busy adjusting to her new surroundings and meeting new people, something her childhood friend Rachel Burge says came natural to Alina. She'd go and help you, or if it was like a group project or something and you know, you don't have a partner, you know, she would go and be your partner. She was just really nice and outgoing. Um, she didn't have to know you to feel like your friend. Um, that was just kind of her personality. She could click with anyone. However, Alina never fully got the chance to do that. On October 8, 2017, a little over a month after the fall semester began, Shaikette was found stabbed to death in her off-campus Oakland apartment. Days later, Pittsburgh police arrested her 21-year-old ex-boyfriend, Matthew Darby, in connection with the murder, a person who Shaikette had filed a protection from abuse order against just weeks prior. Well, she knew she needed something to, you know, to help him stay away because he you know, she tried breaking up with him and he kept coming around, coming around, coming around. But um, he was already getting into trouble with other things. A protection from abuse order is a civil order that provides protection from harm by family or household members, sexual or intimate partners, or someone with whom you have a child in common. In her protection from abuse petition against Darby, Shaikhet cited a history of previous abuse, including grabbing and pushing, as well as emotional abuse, jealousy, and a controlling nature. We don't want any victim to have a false sense of security because of course the piece of paper doesn't put a magic protection around them. But it is one tool, we say it's one tool, in a toolbox of things that victims can do to try to be safe. But Alina's family and friends, as well as some Pennsylvania legislators, are taking the next step to ensure that this does not happen again. And that step is called Alina's Law, which would allow for the use of GPS monitoring for PFA violators, something that Allegheny County District Attorney Stephen Zapala has been hard at work on. About seven years ago, we studied the use of GPS technologies in western Pennsylvania. You know, we were concerned about the topography and you know, the rivers and all that stuff. Um, the study came back and said it's very feasible to use. According to Alina's law known as Senate Bill 196, an electronic monitoring device would be implemented on those found to present a substantial risk of violating the final protection from abuse order or committing crime against the victim. Zapala says the GPS will work in a 100-mile radius, creating a safety bubble, with state police and 911 being notified if the defendant leaves the area. Let's put them on a monitoring. Let's make sure that they're watched and they're, we have a better um, way to hold them accountable. So we want to help the victim get help, but we also want to make sure we're really monitoring defendants better, and GPS technology could help that. Currently, Alina's law is awaiting its turn in the Senate after it passed unanimously 50 to nothing in the House of Representatives back in December. Last year, 102 people were killed in Pennsylvania as a result of domestic violence-related incidents, according to the Pittsburgh Coalition Against Domestic Violence. Now the passing of Alina's law cannot change that number or bring Alina back, but it may be the change that prevents another death due to domestic violence. We have to do something. We can't keep losing our friends, our you know family, people we love to, to something that doesn't, you know, we could help, we could um, eliminate.